And you have, I think, a bond with someone that drives you crazy. <laughs> you think you do. I think you have a bond with someone and it drives you crazy and you've tried to deny it. You've tried to push it away, but there is someone that just sticks in your craw, as we would say in the South. Okay. There's someone that just sticks in your craw that you just can't shake loose. Okay. Scorpio. Hey, what is going on for my Scorps? How the heck are you guys? I am fixing to throw down some cards for you, Scorpio. I am. We're going to do a big fat reading and see what Scorpio is up to. What you up to, Scorpio? What you up to? It's been a minute. This used to be Deep Thoughts with Dana. I had to change the channel name. I hope you all don't mind. I hope you all still recognize me when I come calling. I am no longer Deep Thoughts with Dana, although these are Deep Thoughts with Dana. We're fixing to dig into some real deal, real life situation here for Scorpio. All right. Shuffle these cards up. As you all know, how'd you get over there? As you all know, this is a general reading, right? I mean, I know the tarot is amazing and it's mind blowing and you can watch video after video after video and totally resonate with it. But I'm here to tell you, particularly if you're new to the tarot channels on YouTube, the only way to know your real story is to have your cards read. It's the only way. You can watch and watch and watch and watch tarot card readings and find yourself resonating with a lot of them, most of them, because when we're the wounded person searching for answers on YouTube tarot, we see ourselves as the wounded person in every story, right? Um, and we pin things. The only way to know your real story is to have your real cards read. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about it. So... Scorpio, let's get in to the whole get-go. Oh, yeah, you can reach me at thegypsypsychic.com if you want me to read your cards. All right, I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. We're going to talk about them as I clarify them, and I'm going to sew together a story, okay? Um, depending upon how the spread works out, I may or may not fast forward through the clarifying process because it just takes too long, okay? All right, you guys. Gonna shuffle, gonna pray, gonna lay out. Whoa, they wanna talk, Scorpio. Ooh, wait, it's gonna be juicy. I can't wait. All right, shuffle, pray, lay out the cards, talk about them as I clarify them, and go back to the top and read the story for you, okay? All right, y'all focus with me for a second. Spirit, oh, I got another card that don't belong in this deck over here. All right. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Scorpio with me. And Scorpio wants to know what you know, Spirit. What do you know about Scorpio and what does Scorpio need to know about themselves? What's coming towards Scorpio? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is that you're going to say in these cards. Please continue to arrange yourself in the way by which you need to be seen. I'm going to cut three times. Right on. I'm going to cut three times and pull straight from the top. Spirit, please arrange yourself. And that's perfect right there. All right, let's cut three times and see what we get. Let's go one two, three. Five of Swords in reverse showing its face. This might be open to change. And three, bottom of the deck, the Lovers in reverse. Can y'all see those okay up there? All right. So I can go from about here to here down. Okay. All right. Lovers in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Oh, before we get started, y'all need to know one thing about me right now. Um, I will swear, most likely. Um, I am um, inappropriate at times, and 
I will smoke my vape. So if any of that bothers you, just go ahead and go on about your business or just tolerate my life choices and enjoy the show, okay? First card out, the devil. Ooh, all right. The devil, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, toxicity, lying, cheating, stealing, the whole ball of wax that is associated with the devil. Eight of swords, in your head, thinking, thinking, I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this somehow, some way. Nine of cups, emotional satisfaction, wishes fulfilled emotional comfort the temperance card in reverse talking about a misalignment something's broken something needs to be healed the five of pentacles leaving it out in the cold queen of wands in reverse needs not being met maybe a crazy um we'll see the seven of swords in reverse breaking free possibly mental challenges maybe this is a crazy and this is mental challenges six of pentacles in the center of the spread talking to us about giving receiving sharing a family maybe living together the three of cups celebration reunion meeting new people talking to new people the princess of pentacles manifesting the queen of pentacles um to the emperor interesting so manifesting the queen of pentacles the emperor and justice i think scorpio taking charge is the emperor manifesting who it is you want to hold title in your life justice this is truth ace of wands inspired passionate beginnings ace of swords in reverse lack of clarity five of wands conflict ten of cups in reverse a breakup to star hope faith purpose and renewal resilience persistence ace of cups in reverse heart feelings ace of pentacles new beginnings four of pentacles to the sun in reverse and the queen of swords and the fool beautiful Ooh, and death in reverse we'll take that all right that's where we're going to stop okay some people ask me how do you know when do you stop you're always different every time yeah i am I just feel it. I can't explain it any other way. I just feel it. The world, look at that, wasn't even ready. And this is trying to show itself. This is the closure of one cycle and the beginning of another cycle of your life. Oh, look, my mom's calling. Huh? So I'm going to put this back in the deck because um, I don't need it right now. Okay, so the devil the devil an attachment and a restriction to your personal growth somebody that you lust after somebody um the tower interesting so spirit what is the root of the devil the ace of cups tower moment to the ace of cups hmm, okay okay tower moment to the ace of cups to the two of pentacles all right so but why the devil why does because the devil is telling me that scorpio feels this devil this devil i think is representing scorpio but i can't figure out why tell me tell me please about the devil is it a restriction what is the devil about the shadow self. Ooh, the shadow self. What's the devil about? The three of swords to the queen of wands in reverse. All right. I got it. 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 Okay. Oh, there's the world card again, Scorpio. Look at that. Look at that, and that's going to change everything. That is so powerful right there, Scorpio. Um, I almost, um, I, I, I think maybe I'll just play through this first part before I fast forward because that is like super powerful. All right, the Eight of Swords. Thinking hard, going to gain a new perspective at some point. The Emperor, the Six of Cups, Page of Wands in Reverse to the two of wands, the nine of cups. Temperance in reverse, right on. That needs to be healed. Um, five of pentacles. I'm gonna go back and read this from the top, right?
All right, Scorpio, this is what's going on. This is either you or somebody doing this to you, okay? I don't know which way it goes. I really don't. But this is either the way that you feel or this is somebody that feels this way about you, okay? But I'm going to read it from Scorpio's perspective because when I prayed, I asked for messages for Scorpio, Okay, so I'm going to read it from the Scorpio perspective. If it fits vice versa, then by all means, assign it to the other side because I'm not sure what flow this goes in. All right, so we start out with the devil. Okay, the devil. This is the Scorpio that I'm talking about, like I just said, right? This is Scorpio and you feel... that you did somebody wrong. That's how you feel in this. You feel like you did somebody wrong, right? Maybe somebody did you wrong, but it's, it's, it's a lusty kind of feeling that I get when I look at this card, right? It's like, it's like raw. It's almost like, like, it's not like you are attached to the foot of the devil. It's not like you're the victim of the situation. It's like you are the devil. And I know that sounds really weird, but look, look at this card. Oh, there's a reflection here. I'll move over here. Look at this card, right? When I read this, I don't see Scorpio as one of the two people down below right there. I see Scorpio as the devil, right? And I don't mean you're Satan, okay? It's the card. But you are controlling these chains. And you have, I think, a bond with someone that drives you crazy. <laughs> you think you do. I think you have a bond with someone and it drives you crazy. And you've tried to deny it. You've tried to push it away. But there is someone that just sticks in your craw, as we would say in the South. Okay. There's someone that just sticks in your craw that you just can't shake loose. Okay. And it makes you, mm, okay. What's this about? Well, a tower moment. This tower moment is this defiant, resistant, passionate, obsessive Scorpio coming to terms with the way that they feel about this person. Okay? Ace of Cups. The tower moment is clarified by overwhelming emotion, love, a new beginning in love. The Ace of Cups is not negative. Even in the reverse, is it, it, can it be sadness or hurt feelings? Yeah, but I don't ever see the Ace of Cups in the upright as having any kind of negative connotation. So there's only really one way to read this. You've had a tower moment that has resulted in a positive outcome that has sorted through some kind of feelings that you have. Look, the Two of Pentacles. Can you guys see this shit? The Two of Pentacles, prioritizing, prioritizing what? Your feelings. Why? Because you've had a tower to the world. And, and the prioritization of these feelings is calling for the cycle of an, the closure of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle inside of you, in your life, with this person that just sticks to you like honey. What is the root? I kept asking, right? In the beginning of this, when I was beginning to clarify, what is the root of why Scorpio feels like the devil? Okay. Well, the root is the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Three of Swords. The Queen of Wands in reverse is someone's whose needs aren't being met. And the Three of Swords is grief and sorrow. Painful separation too, but grief and sorrow, okay? It's the Swords energy, so it's the mental. Hence the Eight of Swords right here, right? Wrapped up in the head, 
okay? You've been wrapped up in your head for a long time. These cards tell me, whoever it is I'm identifying with here, you have been wrapped up in this, in this grief in your head for so long that you cannot meet this person's needs. That's why you feel like the devil because you feel like you can't meet this person's needs. This person is the queen of wands, right? She's a badass and you're highly attracted to her. And I get some soulmate kind of stuff going on here, right? This is the witchy poo of the tarot. This is, this is somebody who, who, who has some connections. Okay. <laughs> some connections right? And you got it for this, for this person, but you've been tore up in your head. Hence the eight of swords right here. You've been tore up in your head for God knows how long resisting your desire to be with this person because of your own fears that you're not good enough for them. True that. True that. The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction to temperance in reverse, the healing of something, recognizing that something needs to be healed. This epiphany that you've had with the tower moment, that is where your happiness comes from because now you know exactly what it is that you're going to do and you know you're, you're grateful for the imbalance inside of you that was healed and now you know how you're going to attempt to heal the imbalance um, with this person because yeah the five of pentacles right left out in the cold this goes right back to you or someone not feeling that they're good enough for you it goes right back to you thinking that you're not good enough right left out in the cold um i i, I don't have what it takes to the two of cups to have a love relationship with this person the emperor but you know what i've had an awakening i have had a tower moment in my life and i've had an awakening about how and i can't deny how i feel about this person anymore and now i understand that it was just my own fear that was holding me back and lo and behold look who you metamorphosize into <laughs> the emperor right you're like, fuck all that being scared bullshit. No, I am good enough. I am the emperor. And you're taking charge of your life and you're taking charge of the situation. Six of cups. You want to reunite and reconcile your differences with someone from your past, Scorpio. To the page of wands in reverse. This is a card about lacking direction, but you don't know how to do it right? You don't know how to, to initiate it. The two of wands, planning, plotting, thinking about it, preparing yourself, trying to figure out what the best angle is, right? Queen of wands in reverse again. Same queen of wands right there, right? not needs not not being good enough needs not being met you not being able to meet this person's needs seven of swords in reverse breaking free from mental challenges associated with with betrayal deception deceit stealing trying to get away with something um breaking free from mental challenges associated with you not being able to step up to the plate of thinking that this person is so much way better than you Oh, it's thundering. Nice. The three of cups in reverse. Um, third party situations. Okay. Third party situations. That's what this is about right here. Third party situations. What is this about? Well, it goes right back up here to the devil card. Okay. Um, this devil card. Because you feel like you are not good enough for this person, but now you've had a change of heart and you're going forward. What this is about is needs not being met to the three of cups in reverse because you've never, because you're not with this person, you're seeing other people. Okay. You're not with this person right now. You're not, you're not with this person. 
and you're seeing other people and to be with this person, you can't be seeing other people. Ace of Wands, right? You want an inspired, passionate, new beginning, death. You're bringing in death to all of the third party situations. You're bringing death to your insecurities and your fear. You're taking control of the situation like an emperor. You're breaking free from that cycle of your life. And you got your eyes set on the Six of Pentacles, making a peaceful life with this person that you got it so bad for. And only you know you got it that bad. I don't think anybody in your life really knows you got it bad, that bad for this person, Scorpio. I really don't. I think it's a very private thing. And I think that's where the devil comes in too. I think it's a very private thing. I think it's a very sexy thing. I think it's a very, maybe it's a taboo kind of thing, but you got it for someone and you're coming to terms with it now. You're going to level up. A peaceful life with the Six of Pentacles with your Empress. Equal counterparts right here. Equal the Empress to the Emperor. You want her to be, or the other person, her because she's an Empress, to be the other person. Okay? Judgment in reverse to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. But you're afraid they're going to turn you down. <laughs> Yet again, Scorpio, right? What if you release all of this and you're like, I am good enough for this person. And then they shoot you down. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, in the center of your reading, your whole re reading revolves around this fear. This fear of going towards the Empress, judgment in reverse and having them reject you. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, talking about a lack of ambition or a lack of focus. Wow, but you're going to go forward anyway. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, Scorpio, but it's so funny because you struggled with it for so long and you finally come to terms with all of it and you come out as the emperor and death and it's like, I'm going forward, but in the center of your reading, it's like, oh my God, what if? What if they tell me to go fuck myself? What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. I got a kind of an inside joke here too, because there's a lot of Scorpios in my life. A lot of Scorpios. <laughs> Sun, moon, rising, all kinds of mismatch, right? And I have Scorpio in my own chart. Okay. So I'm Taurus, Sun, Pisces, Moon, Pisces, Rising, Pisces, Venus, but I have Scorpio in my eighth house and all kinds of other places, right? So the Three of Cups reuniting and celebrating the Prince, Princess of Pentacles manifesting, taking the initial steps to do it. Eight of Cups in reverse. This is abandonment. This is twofold right here. This Eight of, it's not in reverse. Eight of Cups upright is twofold right here. This is about you abandoning the insecurities. And this is also about your fear of abandonment. I think this is also talking about you somehow abandoning this person in the past. Not, not reciprocating or not getting involved somehow, some way. The Ten of Pentacles comes in and says, you see like you could possibly produce a future here. To the Moon card. Subconscious, intuition. Tell me about the Moon. The card of Pisces, if that means anything to you. But we got everybody here. The Prince of Swords, yes. So you're rectifying your emotions and getting yourself straight. Remember up here you were planning. Where's that Two of Wands? Planning, right? You're planning right here with the Two of Wands. And that's what you're doing in the Moon Energy. You're getting your feels straight. You're getting it all together. Prince of Swords, you're going to go forward. This is going forward in your mental, right? Preparing to... Because you have to be prepared in your mental before you actually physically execute something, right? Um, yeah. Um, the Prince of Swords, and that's what you're doing. The Queen of Pentacles, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for domestic partnership. That's what you're looking for. You see this person as the Empress. You also see her as the Queen of Wands, but you're looking for the position of the Queen of Pentacles to be in your life, right? This is domestic partnership. The Queen and King of Pentacles believe in the institution of love and family and marriage, okay? Um, this Queen of Pentacles, it could be an Earth energy as well because the Empress is is earth the queen of pentacles is earth the empress is if we're talking about earth energy the empress is taurus libra as well but um uh, if we're talking earth energy it's taurus the queen of pentacles is uh virgo 
um, it's Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's it represents Virgo. Um, the Hierophant in reverse, a reevaluation of belief systems. And that's what happened to you in the tower moment up here, right? Your belief system, you had an epiphany. You're like, and that's the beauty of it because that's what the tower moment is supposed to be, is an awakening, right? And if we get the awakening the first time around, it'll stop happening. If we don't understand and we don't get the awakening, if we're not cognizant and aware of what it's trying to teach us, then it just happens over and over again until you finally get it. When you get it, it makes the tower moments disintegrate. And then of course, <laughs> indefinitely you'll get, I mean, definitely you'll get some kind of other tower moment in your life. It's just how life works, right? It's the, it's an obstacle course, but You have reevaluated your belief system about this person, whatever that means to you. Like I said, there was something little taboo, little, little something, something, little something, something taboo going on in the feeling I was getting from that devil energy. Woo, still gives me the chilly willies. Yeah, you got it for this person, Scorps. Okay, the emperor. Again, you, same emperor, taking charge. Page of Swords in reverse, the all talk, no action, undelivered promises of the past, the Six of Swords, me avoiding, me bailing, me not dealing with the turbulent waters of my emotions and my insecurities and just skirting the issue, er, 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 skirting the issue all over the place, avoiding all over the place to the Justice card. Now you're ready to speak your truth. Your truth will set you free and you are willing to speak your truth. This is your justice. This is your decision. This is what you're doing. Okay. Libra also Libra and the Empress is Libra, but nevertheless, it's your, it's your truth. The Ace of Wands, you want an inspired, passionate new beginning with this person. The Ace of Swords in reverse, but you're unclear if all of the bullshit between you, all of the hurt feelings between you, Page of Cups, when you offer a communication injustice, if they're not going to, like I said earlier, tell you to fuck off, um, you're really concerned about that because you have, as the Five of Swords, played some fuckery with this person. You've played some fuckery with this person. You've hurt this person's feelings. Like I said, it could be vice versa because I'm not sure um, if this is the story being told to Scorpio or if this is Scorpio in the cards, okay? Um, it's real hard for me for a general reading. I'm a channeler and for me to channel something that's like not even there is just so hard um, to make sense of it right? Because I don't know who or what I'm talking to. If I'm talking to you personally, all of these cards are assigned to each and every physical, emotional, or mental process that happens in a tarot card reading. But in a general tarot card reading, I don't know if this is Scorpio coming up from the cards or if this is being told to Scorpio, okay? So I hope you understand that. Hurt feelings, Scorpio, you've hurt this person's feelings and you're not sure if when you offer them your little page of, of emotions right there with the page of cups, the little piece of emotions that um, injustice, right? Dishonesty, unfairness, a lack of accountability, losing, right? You're not, you're not sure. Five of Wands, and you're conflicted on the inside. Ten of Cups in reverse, right? A breakup, a broken harmony, something happened between the two of you the star, but you want renewal. You have hope. You have faith. You feel like this relationship is purposeful for your growth in life. Like I said, soulmate stuff, right? I'm here to tell you, let me give you a quick little lesson on soulmates, okay? Everybody thinks your soulmate is supposed to come in and you're supposed to meet and you're supposed to be with each other forever. Amen. And that's not the way the real shit shakes down. Soulmates are our tribe mates that come with us to this planet to do the mission and the journey that we have agreed to do over the lifetimes. I believe in reincarnation, so I'm throwing it down this way. Over the lifetimes, um, we disperse, right? We disperse and we disperse and some die and some things and you come back over and over and over again because you have to do what you came here to do. And until that is completed, you will keep repeating the, the life, right? 
nirvana until you get to the end until you have learned and done what it is you're supposed to do then you're released okay that's why it's so important to understand the lessons of the major arcana so you can see in your own tarot card reading so you can see what it is that spirit's trying to do in your life and how it is you should act accordingly to receive for your best and highest good okay that's the soulmate thing soulmates come through our life we all come back together and cross paths right and it's to set each other straight it's not so much forever and always amen but it's a significant life-changing relationship that might last but it might not it depends on what kind of level what kind of soul level and what kind of lessons that person has to learn and you still have to learn if y'all have been going parallel to each other and you come together boom that's forever soulmate love but i'm here to tell you soulmates are not meant to stay in your life forever and always they're meant to come in your life put you on track and then continue and if y'all continue to grow together that's beautiful but if you don't you don't the star purpose for your life purpose and it's true there is a purpose in this person in your life the nine of wands resilience defensive not really defensive fight defensive worth fighting for right ace of cups in reverse to the ace of pentacles because you have feelings for this person and you're tired of denying them with the ace of cups in reverse and you're going to manifest a new opportunity here the four of pentacles to the sun in reverse you're sure hoping you are sure hoping that this person is receptive to you because you're not there you're not real optimistic that they are the queen of swords <laughs> you're going to speak your truth anyway you are you're going to speak your truth and you're going to let them speak their truth to the fool well let's go the death in reverse first personal transformation you are hoping that your truth about your personal transformation is going to hit home with them and they will have a personal transformation about the situation as well to the fool and both y'all can go out on a brand new beginning in a brand new journey and at least get to the bottom of why it is you can't shake this person there is a lesson to be learned from this person they are a soul tribe member and they're coming through they were meant to come through when they came through and it was meant to be like this because you weren't ready to learn what this person has to teach you but since the tower moment since all of this you're ready now you're ready for what this person has to teach you and they're ready for what you have to teach them okay interesting but the fool is the last card in this spread the fool is um, a new beginning in a new journey right a new beginning in a new journey that's beautiful reading Scorpio whether it is towards you or from you it's a beautiful reading it truly is it truly is so have at it there's you with the death card right there have at it Scorps okay um I do hope this helped you somehow some way namaste